When we say our observable universe, or just our universe for short, we don't mean all of space. We mean this, the region of space from which light has had time to reach us during the 13.8 billion light years since our Big Bang. Meaning there is plenty more outside of this that we have yet to have the light come to yeah, us. Yeah, probably. We haven't seen it yet, but every time we wait one more minute, light reaches us from Further. another light minute away when more stuff comes into view. We've never suddenly had come into view a sign saying space ends here, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. So our the, observable yeah. so, universe yeah. is constantly opening up yeah, in all directions. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. So what we need, first of all, is a hefty dose of humility because we humans have again and again made yes. this mistake of thinking that everything we knew about was everything that existed. Just to discover that that was just a small part of a, of a much grander structure, right? A planet, a solar system, a galaxy. Yes. Our universe. That we were the center and then we weren't the center, mm -hmm, that we mm -hmm. orbited just the star. We, we have yeah. a long track record on, of hubris. <laughs> hubris, yeah. um, So humility is all good. Yes. Now, how much is there actually? Well, pretty much all of my physics colleagues think that space is a lot bigger than, than, this. than this. And again, every minute we wait, we see, in more fact, and more. more. The most popular theory we have, what made our, our space in the first place it's made it so big, called inflation, actually predicts in the simplest versions of space goes on forever. forever. Mm -hmm. And if that's true, then you can fit infinitely many other universe-sized regions into this, where there will also then be galaxies, yeah. and ultimately, yeah. if you roll the dice and things start at randomly, copies of us having all sorts of variants of this conversation. Yeah. This is what I call the level one multiverse, and if it sounds weird, it's only the simplest of uh, four <laughs> levels. Can we, and I want to make sure this is explained. So Max is saying we are at the very center of this yeah, sphere. Yeah, not because there's anything magical about it's, this edge. It's just that if you're walking yes. in the fog and the visibility is 100 meters, you'll feel that you're in the center of your own little fog sphere. Yes, and that the extension of the universe goes in all the directions in infinite amount from here and that the reason why there is this red ring around the center is because this is where our the disk of our galaxy yeah this is just the photo of the edges of the part of the space that we can see taken with microwave cameras on, on um, this uh, nasa satellite w map that's taking baby pictures of the, by looking at the light that's been traveling for 13.8 billion years to us, seeing that when a universe was was 400,000 years old, and it, it only cost us and each 20 pens, as you said, to 40 to, cents per American, 40 cents per American to make these tremendous discoveries. So next time you think about the money that's being allocated towards science, give those big thumbs up to. Yeah, I've never met anyone who would forfeit uh, one bite of a burger for these deep <laughs> secrets about the cosmos.